What is the next move that the government of India could consider, uh, given that, uh, you know, now, uh, you know, that retrospective amendment, uh, you know, has created too much international conversation? Uh, what would be the prudent course of action for the Indian government? Uh, I think you asked me actually two different questions and the answers to them may not be the same. One is that what could the government do and what is a prudent answer? So uh, let, let's just go back. And uh, when this uh, current government came into power and the first budget, which was uh, 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 proposed by uh, uh, Mr. Jetli, on the floor of the parliament, he categorically mentioned that going forward, there will be no retrospective am amendments. Mrs. Sitaraman, again, when she assumed charge and she presented her budget, again reiterated that India will not make retrospective amendments to tax laws, which is very, very welcome. And the fact that these statements have repeatedly been made on the floor of the parliament shows that the government is cognizant as to what is the negative import of such a, a, neg a retrospective amendment. And the question is that despite all of this, this particular retrospective amendment was never undone. There was a wide expectation that this government coming on the back of the word tax terrorism in its manifesto will actually go back and say that we will, we will sort of undo the retrospective amendment. That has not happened. Rather than live with this enigma of a retrospective amendment, the best prudent course of action would be to say now that an international court has so held, let us change the tax laws and let's make that amendment prospective and not retrospective. That's the most uh, 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 easy thing to do because now we have a basis. Somebody has come back to say that if you do amend tax laws retrospectively, that violates investment treaties. That's not what India wants to do. India does not want to give out a signal to countries that investments coming from your country can be adversely impacted. And that being so, the best course would be simply to accept this and move on with life and make that amendment prospective, withdraw the retrospective nature of it.